Hi guys and welcome to another Dilly Theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designing techtips.com. Well in today's Divi Basics video we're going to show you how to use Divi's inbuilt transformations. Let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual build. And if I go down to this section here, I've got a section, the blue tab, a row, the green tab, and the modules, which are the dark tabs. I'm going to work on our rows today, but you can use transformations on sections, rows, and modules. So let's go in there, the little cog. And if we go over to our design tab, right at the bottom, you'll find the animations. And we've got fade, slide, bounce, zoom, flip, fold, and roll. And of course, none. If you click on one of them, it'll demonstrate it for you. Remember, we're working on the row itself. So it's both of those modules. There's the slide. There's a bounce. There's a zoom. A flip. A fold. And a roll. So let's perhaps put it back on the slide. And if we roll down a little bit, you can have animation direction. At the moment, it's sliding in from the center. If we change that to the right, as you can see, it slides in from the right. Obviously, left will be left, up will be up, and down will be down like that. You can put a bit of delay on there if you want to, and you can also change the timing of the duration. At the moment, it's taking a second to do this. If we slow it down, push it to the right, as you can see, it slows down. If we bring it to the left there, it's going to speed up. I think a second was about right. If you do something you don't like what you've done, simply select it, delete it, and it'll go back to what it was before. You can have a delay if you want to, which will delay it happening for a little while. I'm going to have mine happen straight away. The intensity of it is 50% at the moment. If you take that down, it will be more subtle. If you take it up to the top, it'll get more crazy. So it's just, as you can see, it's coming way down there. Whereas if we're at the bottom, it just comes down a little bit. So just set that way you'd like it. Animation starting opacity. Well, opacity is see-throughness or transparency. At the moment, it's starting off invisible. And when it comes in, it's becoming fully visible. So change that to how you want. If you want it to be fully visible all the time, simply put that there. I quite like the default of being invisible at first. Animation speed curve by default is ease in and ease out. And that works for me in most situations. There are a few others to choose from. They're slightly different, so choose what works best for you. And animation repeat, I tend to leave it on once. You can have it loop, but that's going to get old pretty quickly if it keeps doing that every time people do things. So there you go, guys. There's a brief overview of the Divi animation settings. And don't forget, you can set these on sections, rows, and modules. So let's save our changes and exit the Visual Builder. And there we are on page load. There is the animation that we set up. So there's a brief overview of the Divi animations for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.